Welcome to my YouTube channel guys, MacMan. So I'm gonna show you how to install Python on your Mac based system or operating system using command line. So what you guys basically do is uh, you casually just go to Python website and download Python for Windows. But it's kind of different uh, on the Mac. So you all just do is go to download Mac OS and download the releases for Mac OS. What it does is actually it's going to install the Python as an application based system. So whenever you try to go and install, go and uh, work out on Py terminal, it's going to show you the Python is not installed or any other version of Python is installed. So if you want this version, you have to go to your applications and you have to search for your application Python and it will open a separate window as shell. If we don't want it right. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna open brew sh and install pyenv i hope you guys know about brew sh if you have watched my previous video it's basically any collection of li collection of libraries and softwares which can be installed using command line with a single command it's gonna install all the dependencies and all the softwares required to run the application it can be either command line it can be either application so for now you have to do is uh, click on pyenv and uh, copy this command and paste it on your terminal since I have already installed pyenv it's gonna say do you want to install again or uh, it will just show it ins it's already installed but for you it's gonna ask you a password click your password and it will start the installation most of the time it will not uh, show any errors if it is showing any errors you have to go to the website and search for the error by this the Python pyenv should be being installed on your system what you have to do is next click on pyenv if you are getting like this that means you have already inst the installation is successful and uh, pyenv is ready to use so before using pyenv you have there is a crucial step you have to do you have to go on and uh, click uh, nano GSHRC. So what it basically does it, it will open your default uh, GSH uh, folder and you have to type eval all this code on it and uh, click exit. It's gonna s if you have to save and click on exit. So what it basically does is you are giving the PYENV for your system to recognize. So now adding it to the GSH next you have to do is nano under uh, zp z profile and you have to add this command inside after entering you, should, you have to click uh, control x and it's gonna say you have to save it and close it and basically you have entered the entered it to the profile so whenever you click uh, python python slash v it's gonna show you the version installed through the p pyenv python virtual environment so to install python in python environment let's just clear the screen and click on uh, pyenv ens install 3.9.1 since i uh, since i already installed 3.10.4 i'm going to show you by installing 3.9.1 it's going to search the web and uh, install 3.9.1 it's gonna take some time uh, something like a minute or three as you can see the python 3.9.1 is installed on my system so now i'm gonna click pyenv vrsivon it's gonna show me the version i am on so if you click versions it's gonna show you all the versions that are installed on your system or more specifically installed on pyenv so now if you click on python slash capital v it's gonna show you it's running on python 3.10.4 i want to switch the python to 3.10.4 to 3.9.1 so what i'm gonna do is pyenv GLO BAL global 3.9.1 so what is basically does it is gonna set your uh, python to 3.9.1 so when i click python slash v it's gonna show me my python version as 3.9.1 
can also go to the system but I don't recommend using the system python as there are two types of pythons installed on the system. With this basically the video has ended. If you have any doubts or any issues you can uh, contact me through con you can comment and you can comment in a session below. I will inst I will give you all the procedure in the description as well as in the comments also. So that's it guys. See you later in the next video. Thank you. So please like, share and subscribe my video.